All right, guys, Kettleboy 32 here. Check it out. Um, yeah, what you're seeing on this table is kind of a, a unique little deal. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to uh, set it up so that we can explore tracking and explain MOA and explain mills and explain how uh, turrets work on uh, scopes. Uh, this particular one is the primary arms. This is their GLX. This is one of my absolute favorites. This, I believe, yeah, it's running, I can't remember what the hell reticle is in here. Uh, it is the Raptor. But this thing is the 2.5 to 10 first focal plane scope. So it's pretty cool to not only uh, use the Tacticam scope mount right here, but I can help explain the differences between first focal plane uh, what the adjustments are, when it's adjustments, and how they relate to the point on target, point of impact, things like that. And that's why you got this little green laser right here from the guys over there at Sightmark. I'm probably going to go ahead and change this out to the uh, Purse 4 simply because uh, this is only 5 milliwatts uh, and the Purse 4 is 18, so you can really get a good point of reference when you're looking out to a thousand yards or something because one I want to show you how the tracking works when you're using the uh, turrets and how they track I and mean, what you can do is you can do a box test out here but you can do a box test using the reticle and when you've got 10 clicks up or down then you can actually use the reticle in relation to the green dot to show how this whole thing works and return to zero and with the tactic cam scope mount this whole setup is pretty cool, and this is a Geisley rail. Uh, but I can change the scopes out on this thing, and we can identify if there's any issues down the road. Uh, with the GLX, just a side note, I would recommend going ahead and utilizing a 20MOA scope mount. And that's another thing we can discuss and, and discover together how these things work. Uh, so what I do is, and I did a little short video it wasn't very well done, but I was just testing the theory. Uh, we're going to use the Kofjager, uh with their whatever mount that thing is, the vice mount. So we, all you got to do is you take this thing and put it in here, take it to the range, and then we can go back and forth and show you how it all works. But I just wanted to show you real quickly a really cool deal, a tool to help you guys understand and see one, what the reticles look like, how they maneuver, how they move in relationship with the uh, turrets, and what happens when you say uh, we're going to be 9.6 mils at 1,000 yards. Well, what is 9.6 mils at 1,000 yards versus what is 9.6 mils at 200 yards? So it's pretty cool. The dogs are barking in the background. But anyway, I thought I'd just throw this out there, show it to you. And uh, when we get back into town, we will uh, use this to uh, illustrate how scopes work and uh, mills and MOA. It's Code of Boy 32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. It's KB32. I am out. This is a great scope, man. It absolutely is. Y'all be good. Wow, look at that.